Hello viewers, welcome to Elim TV. Your tutor is Mr. Wanyoike, an agriculture teacher. In today's lesson, we are in form 2, lesson 17. The topic is crop production 3, subtopic nursery bed establishment. On to the lesson goals. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to consider when, uh, when selecting site for nursery bed. Factor to consider, I mean, factor to consider when selecting site for a nursery bed. Then the second one, explain how a nursery bed is established. Uh, terms used, we have a term which will come across, that is hardening of. And hardening of is uh, training. It is the process whereby uh, the seedlings are trained to adapt to the prevailing uh, weather condition a uh, few days before transplanting is done. And this include the removal of the shed uh, from the main nursery uh, bed and also uh, you reduce uh, the sequence of watering. For example, if you are watering in the morning and in the evening, you just water just only in the morning, then you do away with the afternoon or evening. Then we have selection, uh, site selection for a nursery bed. We have uh, factors that we are supposed to consider when you are selecting uh, the site for a nursery bed. The first one is the type of the soil. Uh, the type of the soil uh, should be deep, well, uh, well uh, fertile, and well aerated uh, so that it can promote the growth of the seedling. Then we have the second one, we have the slip, uh, slope. Uh, the site uh, should be on a gentle slope because a gentle slope facilitates uh, drainage. Then we have uh, the shelter. You should uh, locate the site where there are trees which will prevent uh, the, the, the wind. They act as a windbreaker. Then we have the fourth one as water uh, sources. Uh, you should uh, site a nursery bed near a source of water. Uh, for instance, uh, maybe near where there is a water or where there is a piping system so that you can get water from the uh, piping uh, system. Then we have number five, accessibility. Uh, accessibility is another factor that you are supposed to consider. Uh, the, uh, uh, the nursery bed should be uh, sited uh, to a place uh, which is easily accessible, uh, or especially at the middle of the farm, because at the middle of the farm is very, very accessible. Then we have uh, types of nurseries. We have three types of nurseries. We have vegetable nursery, uh, this is one which is used to raise the uh, vegetable uh, seedlings. Then we have vegetative propagation nursery. This one it is used to raise those vegetative uh, crops which have uh, wood stem, for example, tea and uh, coffee uh, cuttings. Uh, then we have uh, tree nursery. That is the, 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 the last one uh, which is used for raising uh, the tree seedling. Uh, then establishment of a vegetable nursery, we have some of the procedures that we are supposed to follow. The first one, we have site selection. Uh, the site uh, which is, should be selected, it should be on a gentle slope so that it can facilitate uh, the drainage. Then the second one, we have the site marking. After selecting uh, the site, you should make sure that it is well marked or well demarcated. Uh, that, so that you can, uh, you, it can show all the boundaries. Number three, we have clearing the vegetation, clearing of the vegetation. And when it comes to clearing of vegetation, you can do it using a slasher or a pango or a machet. Then we have number four, primary and secondary cultivation. Uh, both primary, primary it is the initial opening of the land using either manual uh, or physical method where you can use a jembe, a fork jembe, as you can see the diagram, they are well illustrated for you there. Or you can uh, use, um, a, a, whenever you are using a, a fork jembe, it, it entails uh, uh, where there is hard pan, uh, so that you can use the fork jembe to break the hard pan. Then you raise the nursery bed 15 uh, centimeters above the ground so that you can facilitate the drainage. Then we have manure application and fertilizer application. It means that uh, the manure should be applied so that you can uh, boost the soil fertility. Then we have breeding of the seed. Uh, then number eight, covering the seeds uh, shallowly with a little amount of soil. 
then you apply organic mulch. Organic mulch is applied so that you can reduce the rate of evaporation and therefore conserving the soil moisture. Watering of the nursery bed, that is also another one, so that you can supply the moisture to the growing seedling. Then we have the removal of mulch after germination and finally you erect a shed so that you can provide shade so that you can reduce the rate of evapotranspiration. Uh, then uh, we have uh, come to the end of today's lesson and I'm going to leave you with uh, the following uh, questions uh, as an assignment. Number one, give three uses of shed uh, constructed above a nursery bed. And number two, state two ways of hardening of uh, seedlings in a nursery bed. For reference, you can refer from the Secondary Agriculture Student Book 2 and the uh, publisher, we have the Kenya Literature Bureau. For more information, if you would like to clarify something from us or from Edim TV, you can reach us through the following addresses. Uh, you can use the SMS uh, using that number, the YouTube using Edim TV, uh, Facebook at Edim TV, and at Twitter, you can tweet us at Elim TV underscore KE. Thank you for joining me in this lesson. Goodbye.